Good morning. It is Tuesday, June 11th, 2024. I'm back here for Daily Shakeup number 908. And today I want to talk about the concept of unreasonable. So often in our lives, and especially in the workplace, we have a conversation that goes like this. One person, perhaps the person who's being assigned something, a task or a project, is saying, you're being unreasonable. And the person assigning it, that position of leadership, is saying something like, either a rhetorical, hey, am I being unreasonable, or affirmative statements, I'm not being unreasonable. But we've got to decide and get clear on what are we talking about in terms of reasonableness. And here's what I want you to distinguish. Three different types of unreasonable. Is it an unreasonable want? An unreasonable want. The second is, is it an unreasonable expectation? Notice the difference. The first is something that I want. I want something done or I want it in a certain way in a certain time frame. That's what I want. The expectation is that there's an expectation put on it that that will happen in that time just because I want it. So I may have a reasonable want, but the expectation that I'll get it when I want it, how I want it is what becomes unreasonable. And there are two different questions, right? And the problem is both parties are looking at it through one lens when instead there's got to be at least three. Now, what's the third lens you wonder? It is unreasonable attachment. And that's really about ourselves or the person giving out the assignment or setting, stating their want, setting the expectation, perhaps without any discussion with the other person who's being, is going to be expected to deliver. The attachment is... That I'm to that idea that I'm going to get what I want. Because again, I might have the want might be reasonable, but the expectation is unreasonable. And then if I'm attached to getting this, even though my want may be reasonable, but my expectation is unreasonable. And now I'm going to have judgments and behaviors and actions or reactions based upon not having my wants need perhaps met, perhaps reasonable because the expectations were unreasonable. How do we decide that one about expectations? Is through conversation, through discussion, checking in for that person of leadership or the person assigning or setting the want and the expectation, have that conversation with the person tasked to deliver it, to determine while it might be a reasonable want, is it a reasonable expectation? The better job we can do to all get on the same page, we say it all the time, but here's a place where we're often on the different pages. Let's get on the same page and the difference between wants and expectations and ultimately our individual attachment to getting what we want, even if the expectation might be unreasonable. Think about it. Love to hear your thoughts and have a fabulous Tuesday.